let's talk about fat. We have unsaturated fat and saturated fat. So some examples of saturated fat, which is the bad stuff, are gonna be french fries, fried chicken, those types of things, as well as donuts, cookies, pastries, processed meat, canola oil, hydrogenated oils, those are things that contain saturated fat, which is what we wanna stay away from. And then we have the other products that contain the good fat, which is gonna be avocados, peanuts, coconut oil, olive oil, nuts, fish, flaxseed, stuff like that. So how much saturated fat can we get in our diet? Because let's face it, it's really hard to limit all of our saturated fat. So we need to have, for men, you should try not to have over 30 grams of saturated fat per day. Females, you should try not to have 20 grams or more of saturated fat per day. So some people are like, okay, well, can I have the good fat? Absolutely. Everybody needs fat in their diet. Now, based off your activity level, your day-to-day um, -day activities that you do, your goals, your lifestyle, that's all gonna determine how much fat that you wanna eat per day. But let's try to stick with those good fats. So let's look at some options here. So if I would have a piece of pizza, right? Pepperoni pizza, we all like our pizza. So I want you to look at this little test tube. So this little test tube right here, the top of it starts right here. And then it goes down and you can see this clear-ish, there we go, clear liquid. That's gonna be the good fat that you're getting in your body, you're unsaturated. Now, if you look at this yellow right here, that's gonna be the bad fat. So if I would eat one piece of pizza, one piece of pepperoni pizza, I'm gonna get five grams of saturated fat. Now, who's gonna eat one piece of pizza, you guys? So if it's two, 10, three, 15, and if you have four pieces of pizza, that's 20 grams of saturated fat that you're consuming, which is what the recommended amount is not to go over for females, and for males is 30. So that is kind of scary, right? We gotta watch that. Another example is gonna be a cheeseburger. We all love cheeseburgers. And if you're really hungry, are you gonna eat one cheeseburger or maybe even two? So let's look at this. So this, all the way up to the top, you guys, is fat. So from the top to here is gonna be our good fats. That's the unsaturated fat. And then from here all the way down is gonna be our saturated fat. Crazy. So it's 10 grams in this hamburger. So where is that coming from? It is coming from the bun. It's coming from the cheese. It's coming from the meat. All that is gonna equal up to about 10 grams of bad fat. If you eat two cheeseburgers, that's 20 grams. That's already almost for, again, females, you're already at your max for the day. Males, you want to try to stay at 30 or lower than that. So let's even look at some of our milks. I'm just going to give you guys a quick visual on some milks. This is whole milk. Yes, there's some good fat in milk, but check that out. This is whole milk, and then we have 1% or 2% right here, 2% milk, there. And now we're gonna go to our 1%, which is right here, and then we got skim. So if you drink whole milk and you wanna watch how much bad fat you're putting in your body, maybe you should try switching to a different option that is gonna have less fat in it, right? Crazy to even think about that. So if you even reduce even the size of the milk that you ingest per day or the type of milk that you ingest per day, it might help you reduce some of that bad fat you're putting in your body. So a couple more examples of some things that sneak up on people. So a lot of people like their caffeine throughout the day. Um, for various reasons, they think that their body needs more energy. Well, fun fact that we mentioned before, putting in quality nutrients in your body is gonna help give you new, uh, a lot of vitamins and minerals, which is then is gonna help with energy. But if you need to pick me up throughout the day, I get it, I've been there, I have done it many times and still do. Let's say that you went and you got a white chocolate Bev Breve Mocha with whipped cream. So you want the whipped cream on the top, right? Check this out. This is the drink that you just ordered. This is the yellow is gonna be how many calories you're getting from fat. So for fat, one gram of the bad fat, saturated fat, equals nine calories. Nine calories. So if I just look at calories for this, 
550 calories are coming from this drink. And I know the whipped cream looks good on top. So if you want to switch it out a little bit, you still want to have your little treat, but you want to change things out, here are a couple tips that you can do. Number one, get a smaller option. Number two, instead of getting all the whipped cream on the top, maybe get half. Ask for skim milk that's in it. Even ask for a different type of milk because a lot of different places offer different types of milk that are going to contain more of the good fat versus the bad fat. Another thing you guys can look at here, which I talk about in a different video, is the sugar. Lots of sugar in these products. So look at that and kind of consider, do I really need to put this in my body? Again, everything's okay in moderation, but if you're really trying to look at how much bad fat you're putting in your body, look at your beverages you're consuming as well. So now, another option, let's say you wanted just a regular coffee. How much fat, bad fat, is in regular coffee? Look at that none so that's going to be another option for you instead of adding those extra creamers the half and half try just getting plain coffee that's always a really good option for you so let's try to reduce that fat again you need to eat fat your body functions off of it for insulation for cell structure nerve transmission um, hormone production it's really important that we always have fat in our body so if you have questions let me know